so you can make sure you have the best shift possible. Because if you're tired and you come in for a 12 hour shift and you are not sleeping and you have to come back the next day, there's no way possible you can get that done. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. At all, at all. I'm getting back to my advice. YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Zed back at it again with another video. I'm driving home right now after working a 12 hour shift. As you can see, I'm looking dusty, crusty, musty. Dusty, crusty, rusty. But um, I'm getting off a 12 hour shift. I have class today. I have to pack today. I have to go to the gym today. I have to clean up today. Wash my car maybe if I have enough time. But class is gonna be short. It's only gonna be an hour. I don't have lab today, and it's, we're gonna be reviewing for an exam. So quick, simple, easy day for me. Um, as you know, I'm your favorite CNA, YouTube's favorite CNA. And um, yeah, I'm back at you guys again with another video. So as you can see from today's topic, we are going to be talking about, today we are actually gonna be talking about what I have realized from night shift. So. I work as night shift. Y'all know I work night shift. I used to work three days a week. Now I'm PRN, which PRN in healthcare typically just means I'm as needed. So I'm scheduled on my shift or how I set up how, kind of my schedule is one shift per week. And then I pick up every so often or when I feel as I need to pick up. So um, I'm as needed work basically per diem, PRN. And I work my one day and then I go, I call in to pick up more shifts. So I go sit with the patient. Really, really simple, really, really easy process. But what I realized about night shift is, and what I want you guys to know about working night shift as a CNA, 12 hours, is that it will take a toll on your body. That's probably the biggest thing I've realized while working as a CNA. Your circ circadian rhythm is all out of whack your energy levels are all out of whack if you are used to sleeping at night and you're up at up for 12 hours like you're you're gonna be you're gonna be beat you're gonna be worn down for your shift but um it's really just a fight and i say this all the time for y'all on the youtube channel that i have um for y'all on here is that night shift is not a game man like you know, don't, we're really like midnight warriors, midnight warriors. You could come in and do daytime, no problem. Come in and do day shift, no problem. When it comes to night, bro, you are fighting for your life. You fighting for your life all night. You fighting for your life for 12 hours, trying to stay awake, trying to take care of patients, trying to make sure everybody stays dry, trying to make sure meds get passed at the right time. These are all nursing, nurses and nursing assistants, like biggest thing for night shift. So I wanna point out three different realizations that I've learned about night shift. First one, it takes a toll on your body. Second one, um, I hope you don't plan on doing night shift, you know, back to back to back because you will be struggling. I've learned that if you split it up a little bit, you might be able to survive. Split it up instead of, say you have, say you're obligated to work three shifts per, say you're obligated to work three shifts per week, right? You need to split them up. You need to, I haven't talked about scheduling yet, but you need to schedule yourself enough time in between. My opinion, do two days back to back, space it out another two days and then work one day. So let's start at Monday. If you work, if you're off Monday, work Tuesday, Wednesday, take Thursday off, work Friday, right? Or if you work Monday, take Tuesday off. No, I'm sorry, Monday, work Tuesday, take Wednesday off, work Thursday, have a three day weekend you will be done for if you do three days in a row. And it's crazy that some people actually do that just so they can have four days off, which I understand if you have a trip coming up or something like that, yes, but no way are you having a healthy shift or a healthy work-life balance if you work in three 12-hour shifts because I get off work, I go to class, and I'm done for, for at least for the next seven hours. I don't require that much time to sleep because I do take naps every so often, but um, if you work 12 hour shifts, like I get off at seven in the morning, if I don't have class, I'll go home and I'll be asleep to at least two o'clock, three o'clock. Working in healthcare is not for the week. Working at, working in healthcare is not for, it's not for games, but it definitely can be, it definitely can be done. It's definitely possible to get 
stuff done. But if you have kids, or you have a husband, or if you're a guy, if you have a, if you have a wife, like just know that you're gonna be asleep. Know that you will definitely be resting. You will not be up running around. There's no way. You can, there's no way possible you can work a 12-hour shift and still run around and do a bunch of stuff. It's no way. It's no way. I find myself quite tired quite often um, working these 12 hour shifts. And like I said today, I'm going to Bojangles right now and then I'm going to go home, going to grab my, my uh, school book bag and go straight to class because I'm tired. I might not look it. Do I look it? Do I look it? Ah, uh, right? Surprised my eyes are not more worn down than they look, but yo, mm, 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 mm. Um, is that you really do need your sleep. You really need your sleep is my second tip. Um, first tip would be, you really need your sleep would absolutely be my second tip. And I guess my third tip would be just kind of prep before you work, you work your shift kind of like get yourself ready, get your mind ready. If you need to sleep, sleep. If you need to, you know, run some errands, run some errands, but make sure you sleep beforehand. Sleep is important um, before and after. Sleep is important for recovery after, and sleep is important before, so you can make sure you have the best shift possible. Because if you're tired and you come in for a 12 hour shift and you are not sleeping and you have to come back the next day, there's no way possible you can get that done at all at all i'm getting back to my advice speaking for you guys because um i the point of this channel was simply to answer your questions i wanted to answer any confusion points for being a cna working as a nursing assistant when i started this channel and i also wanted to you know kind of like put my journey out there as well. So I feel like I've been doing a good job of that, but I definitely want to get back to answering the vital questions for you guys. And I get questioned about night shift quite often, quite often. So I wanted to go ahead and put this out for you guys. That's all I got for you on this video. Make sure you stay tuned because I will be posting again later this week. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this answered, hopefully this answered a couple of you guys' questions. Um, I appreciate the support. So I got for you on this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.